He said, when the Paul, he said, I miss y'all. Talk about the church. But uh, Duke was real close to his mother, and after his mother passed, <laughs> Duke said the Lord just laid this third verse on his heart. I want you to sing it, Zach. This life is over. You walk on the streets of pure gold. We'll see all our love praising God while eternity rolls. And I'll thank Jesus in person. And he shed for me. I'll break with him. Hallelujah. In his presence forever I'll be. after him but God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him as a spirit You're right. Amen. when God looked down on the sin cursed world he thought one thing would fix it in Genesis, he said, it repented God that he even made man. And God said that he would destroy man, every living creature from the face of the earth. But the Bible said that Noah found grace. So we know the story, but it blesses me to go back over it. God began to talk to Noah and he said, Noah, I want you to build a boat. I want you to build an ark 450 feet long. He said, I'm going to destroy every living creature that <laughs> remaineth upon the earth after the ark is filled with you and your sons and daughters and laws and your wife. And the animals, the creatures that I command you to take into the ark will be the only form of salvation on the earth. Noah did was obedient to the voice of God Almighty and he done as God had commanded him. God thought that the problem was solved. After the ark had landed on dry ground, 
men begin to multiply upon the face of the earth. As before as God's act had looked upon mankind, he saw again that the thoughts and the intents was continually evil of mankind. Two thousand years went by and God saw the wickedness of man Something's got to be done. Come on, preacher. I can destroy him. I can do away with him. But I love him. And I can redeem him. God looked all over heaven. And he seen the only redemption would be the blood of his son. God sent his son to the earth, his son taken on now the likeness that God created us in. His son was not no longer a spirit, but he was filled with the spirit. And the spirit was clothed and it was housed in an earthly vessel. Yes, a vessel, Andy, with skin, with natural ears, natural eyes, a natural voice. Having all of that, that vessel that the God signed the word, the Spirit was housed in, also knew pain. He knew worry. He took on pain. He took on worry. He took on grief. He took on loneliness. And he even took on a broken heart. He suffered pain. He suffered fear. Wait a minute, preacher. We can back this up. We can back this up by the word of God. He suffered rejection. Oh, yeah. Got down right to the end. And the one that he thought would never leave him. The one that would never forsake him. He experienced that. He'd been betrayed. He'd been hurt. His heart had been broken. He'd been bruised. For our iniquities, let me add that. He'd been chastised. He was chastised for our sins. Hallelujah, pray for him. He got lonely and he got down. After those that walked with him said, We got you back. He went into the garden. hear him and see the tears running down his face cried so hard that he sweat he came with great drops of blood oh, his heart was broken felt like a failure he was confused Wait a minute, preacher. No, you wait a minute. Jesus being confused? He was very confused. How could you say that he was confused? He questioned God. And he looked and he said, He didn't say, God. 
he said, my God. I'm not forsaking you. I did my best. But he said, my God, my God. Why has that forsaken me? In saying, I've had enough. Drive! 